Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, it's a chilly morning out. It's in the low 30s. So you just saw me mix up some milk because I've got a bottle baby here. I mentioned that in the last video. So here he is. I don't. I still don't know his situation. I don't know for sure if he was a twin and the mother just didn't take him or if two cows calved at the same time and the one cow claimed the wrong calf and then the other cow didn't want this one. So still not sure what happened, but uh, he's off to a good start. He's over a week old now and uh, I've been bottle feeding him. So I've got his pen set up just here in the corner of the old calf barn. You can see I've got the milk bar there. Won't be using that this year. Anyway, I've got him in a little pen here just so he has time to learn that I'm the one bringing the milk. So eventually I can let him out into the bullpen and I won't have to chase him around trying to feed him in the mornings. So I'd also like to get him started on feed while he's in a smaller pen um, before I let him out. That way we can still wean him on time. I really didn't plan on bottle feeding this year, especially bottle calves are too high, busy with work, all that kind of stuff. And I've just got too much going on on the farm. And I've also considered just selling this guy because I don't necessarily have time for it. Um, these guys are going for about 500 bucks at the sale barn if they're all beef and they're starting on the bottle off to a good start. Um, so he might bring five, 550, which is tempting. But at the same time, I'm almost, almost two weeks in on him. Got another month, month and a half to go. I might as well just finish, finish him out, get him weaned and uh, kick him out with the rest of the calves and get him started on feed. So anyway, he's getting a bottle in the morning, bottle in the evening. And uh, today he's actually gonna get a quarter of a bottle around lunchtime. Um, a little cold today and he's starting to shiver, but um, I'll give him a little bit at lunch just cause I'm home. And there you have it, he's done. Anyway, this is a bottle calf for the, hopefully for the year, but uh, we'll see. Never know calving out these old, old cows, what's gonna happen, so. And like I mentioned in the last video, uh, we're still feeding hay. Trying to give some of the pastures a chance to grow up enough where we don't stunt the growth the whole year. But as you can see, we still got quite a bit of hay left and we're feeding, oh, three and a half to four bales a day at this point. Um, cows are still getting a little bit of grass, but anyway, we were supposed to be short on hay this year, but uh, since we had, it seems like an early spring, we started getting grass to grow about a month early. Um, you can see we've got some rows there. Yeah, we may have been able to scrape by with all the hay we bought, so. And actually all the hay we have left is some that was baled off of our place. Um, this is gonna be some older fescue hay. Um, but decent bales, cows seem to like it, especially better than the combine fescue. So I think we're actually gonna be able to scrape by, but uh, we should have plenty left over to feed the bulls when they're not in with the cows. And then we'll also be weaning all the fall born calves and we should have plenty of hay for that as well. So not too worried about hay at this point, as long as the weather keeps doing what it's doing and starting to warm up. And uh, if we can get a little rain, I think, I think this grass will come on quite nicely. Drove around this field after I fed hay, and uh, there's actually no new ones that were born overnight. So, um, it's actually, I think, the first day we haven't had a new calf. And hopefully, just so you can kind of see the difference here, this is the field the cows are in that we're keeping them restricted to. This is what the rest of the fields look like. We're trying to get them growing. As you can see, some spots have a decent stand a fescue. The rest are just starting to fill in. Once it gets warmer, they'll definitely catch up. And, and I would show you the new calves in this group, but at this point, 
I don't even know which ones you have seen, which ones you haven't. There's too many calves out there. So uh, I think we've had about 12 born here in the last week. None today, but I think we've had 12 in the last week. We'll go over to the other spring group. I'll show you a couple of them just because I can kind of keep them straight. There's less, less calves over there. Uh, and then on the rental farm, we'll see if there's been any born today. I'm hoping there are. There's quite a few cows that are looking really close. Um, we have had one new one out there in the last week. Out here with the other group, you can see all the calves running around. Uh, at this point, I don't know which ones you've seen, which ones you haven't. There's a couple. One was born last night. Came out and saw her. Um, I think there's only seven left to calve out here, so we're getting close. And uh, so far, so good. You guys maybe saw my YouTube short about that calf. That's probably my favorite of the year so far. Um, yeah, the rest of these calves. We're getting a couple more bulls here and there. But we're still very heifer heavy. This cow, she's about 10 years old. She's never had a heifer calf. <laughs> she's had a bull every time. Anyway, this group looking pretty good. Still feeding them hay, as you can tell. And we were supposed to haul panels out here today and catch the one that is not bred. She was in heat again two days ago. Um, and she's a big cow, she's fat and we're gonna haul some panels out here to catch her, sell her uh, next week. My dad was driving the trailer over here with the panels on them and bearing went out. So I'm gonna drive home, see if he made it home without the trailer hitting the ground. Yeah, that was originally gonna be the plan for today. But anyway, no brand new calves out here. Like I said, there's gonna be some that you haven't seen, but uh, there's only seven left to go out here. So making progress. All right, out here on the rental farm, gonna show you the one that was born a day or two ago. And uh, you can see it's a little, a little cream colored heifer. That cow's pretty wild, so I have not been able to get out and actually get close to the calf, but I can drive up and sort of doesn't bother me um, we've seen all the other ones and uh, there's one of the old coal cows we had first the little baldy calf he finally finally made his way out of the woods nice little calf though and yeah, there's three other cows that are looking really close. I've found two of them. One of them is that white Charlet there, one of the first ones I bought this year. She's about to go. I thought she was going to go last night, but she'd probably go later today or this evening. And then there's a red cow that I think must be up here by the pond. I've driven the rest of the field and I haven't found her. So she's either up here or she's hiding somewhere else with a new calf, I'm hoping. This always gets me. I know the cow is a red cow with the green ear tag. And here's the one I'm actually looking for. They almost look identical, but. Yeah, she's getting close. Pretty loose in the back end, and her udders definitely run quite a bit. Two bulls are going home. Get put in the bullpen with the rest of the bulls. And speaking of the rest of the bulls, we pulled them out of the main group of cows, and they're gonna get some time off before we throw them in about the beginning of June, I think. So anyway, they're gonna have a couple months off, time to recover, put some more weight back on before they gotta breed breed quite a few cows in the summer. Hey. Hey.
And these bulls are getting a little bit of feed right now. And that's because they're getting some really, some of the crappiest hay we've got. So just to make up for that, giving them a little bit of feed. But this is just the combine fescue stuff. Really don't like it that much, but. And like I said, guys, I've got to catch my two bulls on the rental place, bring them back, and that'll be later this weekend. So there'll be six bulls in here within a day or two. Not going to be much fighting because them beef masters don't do much fighting and the Herefords don't do much fighting. So they're pretty calm mixing them, mixing them back together. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all next time.